Hello everybody, Hectoplasm here, playing Escape from Tarkov, and I'm uh, working on a quest or task for Peacekeeper. This one is called The Cult, Part 1, and in this we need to find the missing informant. And so for this you need to go into Shoreline, find the church, uh, go inside the church, find the trail of blood. We follow the trail out of the church, uh, you can see it in the grass on the ground, and then uh, find the house. And you'll see, uh, we should see the blood go in through the window, then you have to go around inside the house and find the scab inside which is the missing informant and that is it and from there you will get uh, as a reward seven hundred dollars and three gold chains and some five five six so let's jump right into that I'm gonna start out just as a hatchling got a little room for loot and we'll just jump right in this is on shoreline All right, and uh, after that I might uh, jump in as a scav just to check out the, if I don't make it, check out the groundwork, or I might uh, go ahead and bring in the shotgun and then I can work on the spa tour and this quest at the same time. But I figured we'll try going in as a hatchet run just to start with. So I have several maps for Shoreline, and I've mentioned this before, but on Twitch there's not a whole lot of room for description for me to put 10 links, uh, internet links to maps. So I have all of those listed in my YouTube channel. I'm simulcasting on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. If you follow the link back to YouTube, you'll see uh, any of my Shoreline videos, and you'll see a link to all of these maps. I have a map that shows the scav spawn with a skull and crossbones. Another map that shows key locations uh, where the keys spawn, where you can search for those. Uh, another map that's called a 3D map, which just gives you a different look uh, at the everything on there. And the details are really well done with the uh, 3D map. With the um, the fence is really good, showing the detail road to customs, the power lines. Uh, it even shows the power lines, lines beyond the fence. It shows the ruined house. And uh, it's just a really nice 3D map. I also have a map of the uh, spa, all three levels, and part of the basement as well, the west wing, east wing. And then another one uh, that's um, just a really good map for uh, details. And so anyway, there's several different, uh, several different maps that I have links to. Um, primarily going to use the 3D map on this one because I need to find the swamp in the church and it's very well marked on here. And you basically, if you can find the ruined house on the west side of the map and head directly towards the spa, you should come across the church. And then I wanna overlay that with the scav map and you'll see that the scavs will show up around the swamp and also the uh, double loot so here we go now I don't know if you go in as a scav if you can complete this quest by finding the informant. I don't know. I wonder. Okay, looks like deployment is eminent. Okay, we are at the road to customs. There's often a scav up there to my right, and I am not armed to defend myself, so I really need to get to the other end of the map. 
if I could get close enough to the scab, I could take him out and take his equipment, but more likely that I need to walk up to the road and then use my stamina to run. And on this map, Road to Customs, running straight west, I should see the uh, radio tower, radar tower. If you look right in the center, you see that little ball. That is the weather station, also known as the radar tower. And the next thing we should see would be the drunk tank, and then we're going to try to cross the power station. I'm hoping to go on the south side of the power station and just run through. I've done that before. Interesting. I've never noticed this grave before. Wondering if that is uh, significant for a future quest. You don't want to be out of breath because if someone starts shooting, you need to jump and run, and you have no endurance left. I'm starting to get close to the cranes. You can see that, so I need to go a little bit to the right. Because what will happen between the power station and the uh, cranes is there is a concrete line water aqueduct where a river is raging or a creek or stream and there's no way in this game to cross that so you either have to cross down at the burning gas station or you cross at the power station and so my goal is to cross at the power station I'm going to use the side of the hill for a little bit of cover it's uh, obviously only covering me from people on the right Folks on the left can see me and take me out, so. Um, I want to make sure I don't come across that box truck if I can avoid it. <coughs> Hoping to see the drunk tank or falling tank. It's marked on maps differently. In some maps it's called the drunk tank, in other maps it's called the falling tank. So you see the. Uh, Radar weather station up there, radar tower. <coughs> Keep that to my right. Keep the cranes to my left, radar tower to my right. I'm hoping to cross this field without finding anyone or anyone finding me. gas station down there. The weather station radar tower is up there. That is not our gig today. Our gig is to get <laughs> to the complete other side of the map. station or radar tower. A lot of times people will get to, they'll use the concrete lined aqua duct as a marker. Some will use this trail as well. This trail gives you a little bit of cover because it's sunken. But you have to be careful because some people will be running up and down tank or falling tank. Lots of shooting. Sounds like coming from the power station. So this could be pretty dangerous. Let's see if there's any way to sneak across the lower portion 
of the power station. Damn. careful because a lot of people use this as a landmark and so they get to this wall and then they turn right and run. So I don't know if I can go up here. Not in this game. And I personally have had issues with jumping. I'm going to have to come in and get a lesson on how to jump. <laughs> I don't know if it's the lag on my connection that makes it so difficult. chance of getting out of here. Now that they've seen me, maybe they'll run that way, they'll come up behind me. Scabs are pretty smart in this game. You know, they might be coming around already. There's a chance I'm going to just die here. Also, I heard that if you go into crouch mode, that the scavs will lose their lock on you. So I'm trying that technique right now. I'm try to sneak up to this. Um, he found me. I need to run because I got no weapons. Man, that's bad. Oh man, I'm stuck. Holy man. I can get the uh, grenades from here. I better practice learning how to throw frags too. Clearly I don't know how. I think that's a player that's after me. I better get this frag ready. Come on. Site churches to the right, so only chance I got is if I can see them in advance enough to throw a frag right on it. And I, what I really need to do is go in offline mode and practice throwing the frags so I can learn how because I don't have any skill at it. As you saw, I dropped the frag right into the bunker, the sand uh, bag bunker that I was in, and almost got killed. If I didn't run out of there, I would have died. If my stamina was out, I would have been gone for sure. 
Now the construction site's on my left. I should be coming up on the church. Might have overshot it. this part of the map as well as I need to. I really need to learn this part of the map better. Okay, well, the way I'm reading this map, the church is after the power lines. That looks like it right there. Be careful I don't fall and break something. kits at all. Just have a frag. Now I hope the player or PMC or scav that was chasing me, I hope that they stopped. So this is the church. There's two parts to it. One is finding the church finding the blood trail. So and I don't know how it clicks off on the... Um, I'm supposed to look down and see a blood trail. That looks like the blood trail there. Follow this to that house over there. here at the window. I gotta find a way in. So I'm searching. I didn't hear any jingles or jangles. Cult, come on. Find the informant, survive, and leave the area. Okay, so no jingle jangle, no music. Let's look at Xfil. Tunnel. Alright. So from the church. I go back to the swamp. searched in there. Well, before he had nothing on him. All I got is this one frag. That's hilarious. If I'm reading this right.
boats. Big. Well, I guess I'm leaving that behind for somebody else. That's the problem with having a rig. I'm gonna maintain my stamina for axe striking. Store up there if I can survive. Counter a scab, I need to hit him high. In a survival scenario, I would consider toilet paper a commodity that is worth a lot. house, knowing there might be a scab here that would have to fight hand-to-hand -hand combat style. There's a key on this chair sometimes. Might get rid of some nuts and bolts. Let's see. Matches. Two of them are worth seven grand because that's what the uh, meds cost. I don't remember what the D batteries go for. Tetris. Oh my goodness, that is a valuable item. selling for a lot on the flea market right now.
tunnel now. I'll run for a bit, and I'll wait for my stamina to recover. And I'll make that last little bit of run. Well, it looks like we have completed the Cult Part 1 quest in our first run as a hatchling. We had a couple of run-ins with some uh, folks shooting at us. We was able to dodge, pick up some grenades, and throw them. Caused a little distraction. I think I got hit a little bit. I don't know if I did any damage. Uh -oh. doesn't show that I did any damage to anyone. For those of you who just joined me, just I just wrapped up the uh, Cults Part 1 quest. Managed to go in as a hatchling. I was at the Road to Customs, so the opposite end of the map, and I managed to get through the power station. Um, I tried to skirt around the south end of the power station, got shot at, so I ran back around uh, the east side and then crossed on the north end and what got shot at, managed to dive into that uh, bunker that's made of sandbags and get some grenades. And I threw a grenade or two to get some, cause some distractions. Managed to get a couple of rubles. 4,400 rubles, got some soap, TP, of the three grenades I have one left. So in addition to completing the quest, we got some loot here, and this uh, Tetris, I understand is selling for quite a bit, 170,000, so that was definitely worth it. And that was a uh, quest for Peacekeeper. We got in, found the church, found the informant, and survived. Here we go. Kerwa, pardon me, but maybe even this will turn out to benefit us. Nice. And uh, here we're getting a, a SIG MPX. I don't think I've ever fired that, so let's take a look here. Okay, I don't see the MPX, so maybe I clicked the wrong one here. Peacekeeper. Huh. I don't know, is that saying that I have the ability, you will receive this item as a reward? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> okay, Colt Part 2, accept. Alrighty. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great day.